Here's another example of using L'Hopital's rule. So this time we want to evaluate the limit as x goes to positive infinity of x squared divided by e to the x. So remember when we evaluate limits uh, algebraically, the first thing that we always want to do is try direct substitution. So as x goes to positive infinity, where does x squared go? Well, it's going to go to infinity squared, which is just really infinity. So on top, we just have infinity. And what happens on the bottom? Well, as x goes to infinity, where does e to the x go? e to the x goes to e to the infinity, which is really also just infinity. So we have infinity on top, infinity on bottom. And remember from our indeterminate forms video, this is one of the indeterminate forms, one of the seven indeterminate forms that we looked at. So we have an indeterminate form that makes us sad face. But really, it makes us happy face because this tells us that we can use L'Hopital's rule. And since we have infinity divided by infinity, we can use L'Hopital's rule directly without any type of algebraic manipulation. So that's great. So let's go ahead and use it and see what happens. So L'Hopital's rule says, take your limit, and then that's going to equal the limit as x goes to positive infinity of derivative of the top divided by derivative of the bottom. So again, we're not doing the quotient rule. Okay, we're doing the derivative of the top separately. And then uh, separately from that, we're going to do a derivative of the bottom. So the top is x squared. What's the derivative of x squared? It's a goofy looking two. What's the derivative of x squared? It's just 2x, right? So on top, we just have a 2x. And on the bottom over here, we have an e to the x. So we have to take that derivative separately. So what's the derivative of e to the x? Just e to the x. Okay. So now let's go ahead and try to do direct substitution again and see what happens. Okay. Now, as x goes to infinity, where does 2x go? 2x goes to 2 times infinity, which is really just infinity. Okay. So we get infinity divided by what happens on the bottom. Well, here we still have an e to the x, so that's actually going to be infinity again. So notice we have infinity over infinity again, that same indeterminate form again. So that makes us goofy-eyed sad face. But really, it makes us goofy-eyed happy face because that tells us we can try L'Hopital's rule again. Okay, so sometimes you might have to use L'Hopital's rule more than once, and that's okay. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Spoiler alert, and see what happens. So if we do it one more time, well, if we use L'Hopital's rule again, then it's going to tell us uh, to do, so it's going to say limit as x goes to infinity of 2x divided by e to the x equals, so again, limit as x goes to infinity, positive infinity, of what's the derivative of the top. So the top is 2x, so its derivative is just 2. The bottom is e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Okay. So now, if we do direct substitution, what are we going to get? Well, on the top, we just have the 2. And on the bottom, what happens? Well, as x goes to infinity, e to the x also goes to infinity. So technically, what we have is 2 divided by infinity, Okay, which is sort of a weird thing to write. So we can just skip that and just go straight to 0. So now, why is that OK? Well, here, if we have 2 over infinity, infinity means uh, here, as x goes to infinity, we have e to the x also going to infinity. So the bottom here is getting infinitely large, while the top remains a constant. OK, so we basically have some constant, some small, or the point is it's just a constant. So we have a constant value divided by something that's getting infinitely huge. OK, so constant divided by something that grows without bound. So as x gets larger and larger, e to the x also gets larger and larger. So 2 divided by e to the x gets smaller and smaller and eventually becomes 0. Okay. So what we just found out then is, running out of colors here, let's uh, get rid of this over here. What we just found out using L'Hopital's rule is limit as x goes to positive infinity of x squared divided by e to the x equals 0. Okay, again, we had to use L'Hopital's rule twice, and that's okay. Sometimes you might have to use it more than once. And we eventually got to the point where we had a constant divided by something that grows without bound as x goes to infinity. So that just gives us 0. Okay. And that's another example of using L'Hopital's rule. More examples coming up in the next few videos.